Hey everyone, it's the Turk Monster here. Just a quick video. This is going to be a, a little segment, segment I do on a weekly basis. It's basically about my mental health, how I suffer. I am diagnosed with severe anxiety and depression, and I have done for the past three, four years since my breakdown. Uh, but I've suffered with anxiety, and it's more panic disorder than anything. All my adult life, all of it. Since I remember my very first panic attack, I was uptown with three of my friends sitting in McDonald's discussing about holiday, uh, lads' holiday that were going on in a week's time from that. We got, I got out of McDonald's and all of a sudden I just felt like I was drunk. Everything was spinning. I was like, what is going on? I just didn't understand and it all led and it turned out just to be a panic attack. A policeman even stopped me. Thinking I was drunk, underage. I've always looked young. I was 18, 19 then. And, um, yeah, ever since then, it's kind of like your body gets knows what a panic attack is. And once it learns what a panic attack is, it gets worse. In my opinion, anyway. Uh, so, yeah. I've, but I'll, I'll go into more depth every week. This one's just a short video announcing it. I do run, well, I co-run a couple of anxiety groups. So if you're struggling with anxiety, mental health, reach out to me and I'll always listen. Anybody who knows me knows that I will listen and help the best I can. I have done, you know, because I know what it's like. It's it's terrible. I wouldn't wish I'm like worst enemies. It's just terrible. But I'm doing this as an awareness that it, it's good to speak out. The more you, one thing that I have definitely learned is talking to people. Talking about your problems and talking about things helps a, m a million times better than just bottling it in. Trust me. Honestly, just trust me. Like, I've always been an agoraphobic. <laughs> Even as a kid, I'm pretty sure I had like a mental, a, a midlife crisis at the age of 10. I remember thinking, I don't want to die. I just don't want to die. Like, I was just scared of death, and I have been my whole life. I get a headache, my brain tumour, chest ache, heart attack, and it's only took until now. Accepting the fact that it is mental health is the hardest thing for me, because knowing that it's my own brain, that's make doing this to me, because on a daily basis I think that something's wrong with my heart. You can ask anyone, my partner, divine, my parents, I struggle daily, and I hate it, because I've been always career-minded, especially when I become a quality inspector, I love my job, it's just a lot of bad things happen in such a small amount of time, like two, three months, just boom, 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 and it just tipped me over the edge, I dropped my hat by the way, it's signed by the illustrator who does the original cartoon and Pokemon cards oh yeah I'm that good alright it's just a quick video so next week will be day one and I'll discuss from scratch where it where it started and just develop it from there this is all unscripted by the way I'm, this is all just coming from the top of my head so yep yeah, it's the Termeister feel free to reach out and remember you're never alone and even especially in this lockdown scenario I see people that I've known for years acting differently it just shows you what cabin fever can probably do to yourself but yeah reach out I'm always here just give me a message Mwah. love you all so master signing off